Good day everyone. Today, we were going to tackle about the forms of business organization. So there are four forms of business organization. First, we have the sole or single proprietorship. Second, partnership. Third, corporation. Fourth, the cooperatives. So first, we have the sole proprietorship. It is a form of business is owned by one person. The simplest and the most common form of business organization. Let's say, for example, suppose you want to open your own Sari Sari store that will need 10,000 pesos to start and you used your 10,000 pesos savings to start the said business. So, you are the sole owner of the said Sari Sari store. So, this type of business is called sole or single proprietorship. Okay, so it is not separate from the owner. The business and the owner is inseparable. Okay, so we have the advantage of sole or single proprietorship. So, first advantage is that the owner keeps all the profits. Second, the owner makes all the decisions. Third, it is easy to form and operate. Okay, so the disadvantage of sole or single proprietorship is that the life of the business is limited to the life of the owner. Once the owner, the owner dies, the business will cease to operate under the name of the proprietor. Next, disadvantage the amount of capital is limited only by the wealth of the proprietor okay so that is the sole or a single proprietorship second we have a partnership it is a form of business owned by two or more persons the details of the arrangement between the partners are outlined in a written document called Article of Partnership. Okay, so let's say for example, for a partnership, what if the needed amount to start your dream Sarsar store is 50,000 pesos and you only have 20,000 pesos savings cash? You ask Juan, your friend, if he is willing to invest his 25,000 pesos and become a part owner of the Sari Sari store. Okay, let's assume that he agrees what form of business organization was created. So, therefore, it is partnership because, so, uh, Juan agrees to ask of her, uh, of his friend. So, again, partnership profits are divided among partners based on their agreed sharing. And then, the owner is called a partner. So, we have the advantage of partnership. First, higher capital because two or more persons will, will contribute with a common fund. And then, it is also easy to operate like a sole or single proprietorship. So, the disadvantage of partnership is that the profits are divided among the partners. So, next, a partner can be held liable for the acts of the other partners. In Aluso, the personal properties of the partners can be held beyond contributions and may be used to answer for any liability of the partner. So, that is a partnership. Next, the corporation. So, when we say corporation, it is a business organized as a separate legal entity, artificial person, under the, under the corporation law with the ownership, divided into a transferable shares of stock. Let's say, for example, assuming your dream is to open a grocery store, and not just a Sarsar store, but you will need 1 million pesos. To start the said business, you have only you you only have twenty thousand twenty five thousand pesos. Your friend Juan has twenty five thousand pesos, 
and your mother is willing to invest her 50,000 pesos. But still, there are not enough to start your dream grocery store. Where will you get the money to raise the 1 million? You may consider setting up a corporation. Let's say, ex for example, your sister, your brother, your friends. So, they could be a honor too. So, become a corporation. And then, it is also emphasized that it is a law corporation code of the Philippines that creates a corporation. So, number three, the corporations begin its existence from the date the article and incorporation is approved the SECR Security and Exchange Commission. Fourth, we have the uh, SEC is the government agency primarily tasked to regu regulate private corporation in the Philippines. Then we have the owner are called stockholders or shareholders. The word corporation or incorporation, Corporation Inc. appears in the name of the entity. So the voting rights of the shareholder is generally based on a percentage of ownership. The management of the business is delegated by the shareholders to the board of directors. The ownership is divided into shares and the value of one share may be denominated at a smaller amount, for example, at 10 pesos per share. The proof of ownership is evidenced by a stock certificate. Okay, so that is a corporation. So we have the advantage of corporation. Corporation is can easily raise additional funds by selling shares of stock to the public. Next, shareholders are not personally liable for the debt of the corporation. The extent of their liability is limited to their equity or ownership in the corporation. So the disadvantage or corpor in corporation is that it is relatively complicated to set up then, subject to several legal restrictions as listed in the Corporation Code of the Philippines. Okay, then fourth, we have the Cooperative. A cooperative is a daily registered association per person with a common band of interest, voluntarily joining together to achieve their social, economic, and cultural needs. Okay, let's example. Assuming that the mothers in your in your barangay decided to open a sari sari store where all the members can buy in cash or in credit, some mothers were also thought how to see dresses and bag as part of the project of the group. These bags are then sold to a certain company. Aside from that, the organization provides seminars to the members and various topics involving mothers and their roles. At the end of the year, the profit are distributed among the members based on their capital contribution. The amount of their purchase in the Sarsar store during the year is also computed and they receive something out of the profit or surplus based on their purchases. This form of business organization is called a cooperative. And then, the owners are called members who contribute equitably to the capital of the cooperative. Next, the members are expected to patronize their products and services. Next, the word cooperative appears in the name of the MPP. Next, this form of business organization is regulated by the Cooperative Development Authority. Then, the advantage of cooperative enjoys a certain tax exemption privilege. Then, promote the concept of sharing resources. While the disadvantage of the, of the cooperative is that limited distribution of surplus requires continuous education program for members. Then, the members have active and direct participation in the business 
of the cooperative.